Hello there, dear friends, and welcome once again to the Relaxed Fantasy Review. Today, we're going to be looking at the Warlock spell list, specifically at Warlock Cantrips. Warlocks are a very unique magic class. They only have a couple spell slots that get them back on a short rest, but they lean into their cantrips much more than most other spellcasters, because 90% of the time, that's all they have. They're either saving their spell slot for something super important, or using it on a really powerful effect, and the rest of the time, they're using their cantrips. One interesting thing about warlocks over most other spellcasters, or primary spellcasters anyway, is that they actually can use simple weapons and wear armor. This makes warlocks, especially hexblades, something that would find the first spell on this list very handy. My top five are as follows. Number five is Booming Blade. Booming Blade allows you to take any weapon that you're holding that is worth at least a silver piece, it's a weird little restriction, but whatever. And you, you cast the cantrip as your action. The cantrip then enchants your weapon, and you use the action of the cantrip to make an attack. It's very clear this is not the attack action, so you don't benefit from extra attack or something like that. You just make the one attack. When you do, you do the regular damage, and the creature is sheathed in thunderous energy. This energy remains on them until your next turn. If they move after you hit them, that energy erupts and they take an extra 1d8 thunder damage. So this is a great buff to any warlock that wants to use their weapon, like a hexblade, or any other warlock that wants to get mixed up in melee combat. Coming in at number 4 is Prestidigitation. This is a classic pick for any spellcaster in D&D, and Prestidigitation allows you to do magic tricks. You can create sparks or puffs of smoke, you can make tiny objects appear for a few seconds, you can warm things, cool things, even flavor things, or make little illusions like sensory uh, effects, like sounds or smells. It's a very versatile cantrip and is one of the go-tos for any creative player that wants to do a hundred different things with prestidigitation. Now at number three, we have the spell Minor Illusion. This allows you to create a static image of something that looks real. It has to fit in a five-foot cube and has to be a still image, but it looks like a real object until a creature uses its investigation to check it or touches it and then pass through it, revealing it to be non-corporeal. This can create also sounds, so you can distract creatures at a range of 30 feet. And it's honestly one of the best utility spells in the game, creating cover, hiding places, or distractions to get you out of most situations. And since it's a cantrip, you can use it as many times as you want. It's great. Then, at number two, we have the Mind Sliver. This is an attack cantrip. You use Mind Sliver against a creature within 60 feet of you, and they make an intelligence saving throw, one of the best ones, for you, not for the enemies. If they fail it, they take 1d6 psychic damage, and they subtract a d4 from the next saving throw that they make. This is a great setup spell. So you use Mind Sliver to debuff a creature, also doing some psychic damage, which is nice, and then you hit them with a suck or save effect. Warlocks love suck or save effects because their spell slots are super valuable. With Mind Sliver in play, this means your effects are going to stick more often if you hit with Mind Sliver first, and that's why I gave it the number two slot. Why not the number one slot? Well, Warlocks have a reputation. The number one spot on the cantrip list for Warlocks, and possibly the number one cantrip in the entirety of D&D, is Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast is a staple of Warlock magic. It is a 120-foot beam of energy. You make an attack roll against a creature within that range, and if you succeed against their AC, they take 1d10 force damage. This power is not only the best type of damage, but also has an amazing range, and since it's a cantrip, you can just cast it over and over again. Also, at higher levels, you fire multiple beams 
rather than just upping the damage of the spell, meaning you can target multiple enemies, and Warlocks get a lot of cool invocations to power Eldritch Blast up. It is, without a doubt, one of the greatest cantrips and one of the greatest spells in the entirety of D&D, and no Warlock should leave home without it. This has been the Relaxed Fantasy Review. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below, and keep your eyes peeled for more magic reviews coming down the line soon. Have a good one, my friends.